Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Buccaneers Daily, where we post daily Tampa Bay Buccaneers content. If that's something you enjoy, enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So, there was a poll out that, which free agent would you sign if you were the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? It was between Julio Jones, Sheldon Richardson, David Johnson, and then the fourth option was other. 65% of Bucks fans, or just football fans in general, voted Julio Jones. Now, I know I've talked about this before and i know that julio jones being signed obviously is not something that is needed i understand that it is very risky as he has only played 10 games for the titans last year and then the year before that he only played nine games so at 33 years old he is at the very tail end of his career now i want to start this video off with just a quick example so Let's use the Rams last season, all right? You had Cooper Cup, you had Robert Woods. Did you need Odell Beckham Jr.? No, you did not need Odell Beckham Jr. But did Odell Beckham Jr. help propel them to the Super Bowl? Did he contribute in a positive way? You're damn straight. You are damn straight, so yes. And I and let the record show, I really like the Buccaneers wide receiver core. I love it, actually. I'm excited about Russell Gage. I think Russell Gage is going to have a breakout season with Tampa and Tom Brady. Now, with that being said, we're talking Julio Jones here. This is a several-time Pro Bowler, seven-time Pro Bowler to be exact, two-time All-Pro. Here's the thing. If injuries and longevity are a concern, the good news is the Buccaneers wide receiver room is pretty deep. We don't know how much longer Tom Brady is going to be not only a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, but we don't know how much longer he's going to be in the league in general. You know, is he going to play another year and leave Tampa? Is this his last year for both? Like, who knows? Nobody knows. Tom doesn't even know. Announced his retirement in February, and then just a couple of months ago, came back right before free agency. So you never know. And the Buccaneers, I'll tell you this, with signing Akeem Hicks, which, by the way, money move, you sign Akeem Hicks, it's clear the Buccaneers are aware of what is at stake here and they are aware that they are trying to make as many moves as they can that will be beneficial to their roster julio jones does not have to play every snap julio jones doesn't even have to start but julio jones you give him a couple reps every game it's just another scary ass threat so i really have i have a hard time imagining why you know people wouldn't want this i get it's a little bit of a risky situation but the buccaneers are in a position where you just like i have a hard time it's not like julio jones is a locker room threat like i have a hard time believing that even if he didn't pan out it would be a very negative result so that's it for today man i'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section hit that like button hit that sub button as always we are like two subs away from 500 we are trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of june so all the support you guys give me greatly appreciated hope you have a great rest of your day and go ahead and drop a comment